Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to Red Lentil Healing. I have a viewer request from my sister, my sister Michelle. Um, I sent her an article about um, the goat, as she is so um, <laughs> referred to, um, Simone Biles. Um, there was an article that I read and sent to Michelle talking about how uh, Simone is feeling a lot of pressure going into the 2024, um, the 2020, even though it's 2021, um, Tokyo Olympics. And it was a really interesting article about the amount of mental, the amount of pressure and stress in mental health and how she's coping with dealing with the, um, with the pressure, because it's not so much the pressure she's putting on herself, but the pressure she's receiving from the outside. You know, she has to, when you win all these awards and you win these medals and you're, when people call you the GOAT, that's a lot of pressure that comes with it and pressure that comes from her coaches and her, her teammates and not just her being a great athlete, but also being a great um, supporter for her team and being a good captain and all of this. So Michelle's like, hey, you do readings. Why don't you take a look at her, the energy around Simone going into the Olympics? So again, this is for entertainment purposes only. I'm going to pull um, a couple tarot cards and a couple of um, chakra cards. I may even pull out an oracle deck depending, um, depending on what I get, just to kind of do a general energy read on Simone. So let's start with, um, so thank you for the recommendation, sister. Um, I have a feeling, even though I'm going to send you the link to this video, I'm, if I were a betting woman, I would say, you may, you may watch it. Or you may just ask me to tell you. <laughs> That's more like it. You'll just go, okay, now what did you get, though? <laughs> so you don't watch the video. Because you're <laughs> like the only person in the world who agrees with me that the sound of my voice sounds like chipmunks. <sighs> Sucking on helium. Okay. So I'm going to do, let's do five, two, three, four, five. Let's do five chakra cards. I don't know why I picked five, but that's what it told me. So we're going to do that. And then let's do just a, um, just a general quick tarot reading. I won't do a full spread. We'll just do a short spread. Um, let's see how it's going to go for her at the Olympics. Are you guys watching so far? We're only a couple days in. Um, or what are some of your favorite events? Um, I just love the summer and winter Olympics in, um, also. I don't know why, but it's like, if you put a gun in my head and made me watch, you know, a typical soccer game on TV, I would complain. But it's something about watching it in the Olympics that, like, I just hours glued to the TV. Um, also, I'm going to do a reading on um, COVID at the Olympics, so go and make sure you check that out. There's been a lot of outbreaks and concerns, so I just want to, I did a general just to take a look at um, how COVID is going to impact the Tokyo Games. So, back to Simone, now that I pull all the cards, let's take a look at her energy. First, we're getting throat chakra. Um, ask for what you need. That's something that I thought was very interesting in the article, and I'm going to link to the article below so you can read it. Um, she's having and has had to use her voice to speak up to say, this is, I'm feeling the pressure. Um, even her talking about it in this article was her way of actually indirectly asking for what she needed, talking about the pressure and how she feels speaking her divine truth. Okay. Um, this is crown chakra, um, letting her true self shine. Her true self, because that is her connection to spirit, her connection to source, connection to universe, may even be, I don't need to be perfect all the time. Or, hey, you know what, I'm going to do this routine that is more of this, or I'm going to add all of these technical marks and I'm going to do it. But whatever she is going to do, it is going to be very crown chakra based and letting her, her true self show up at the Olympics. Loving on herself. So a lot of some heart chakra, making sure that she is her own champion right now, not the, the ad, um, admiration that she's getting from the world looking at her and calling her the goat but is she the goat in her own mind is she the greatest of all time for herself true heart chakra making sure that she is loving and accepting of herself the good the flaws the, her being so perfectly human Solar plexus chakra, her inner fire, don't give up. Um, I was, um, they were 
there was a link to a video even in this article showing her like doing her double vaults and, you know, not perfectly sticking the landing and, you know, she can see her kind of coaching herself through it and kind of shaking it off, being hard on herself. But she needs to remember to not give up on herself right now. Again, a lot of being her own coach, being her own cheerleader and pushing through in a healthy way using her solar plexus. And then another crown chakra collaboration with others. Um, this to me actually goes with asking for what you need. Don't be afraid to lean. You don't have to be the, the everything to everyone. Maybe you can ask for what you need using that throat shock or speaking to someone or just even if an offhanded comment to one of her teammates like whoo you know it's a lot it's a lot and sh and you two whoever like actually talking through it and both of you sharing your experiences because that is a way to get out I always say root chakra is the me perspective of the world and crown chakra takes us and transcends us to the we us we as a collective and that can help making sure talking to other people discussing collaboration using that throat chakra to talk can help her in ways take some maybe take some of the pressure off and help her align with there are others who have been through this or are going through it not exactly what she's going through but in some way shape or form they're going through their own struggles so the collaboration with others so throat chakra crown chakra heart chakra solar plexus chakra is her energy going into the games let's just do a quick tarot spread I think that was, I don't think I need Oracle. That kind of was pretty self-explanatory. Let's look at the tarot. A lot of celebration, happiness with the Three of Cups. Um, she is a celebrated, now if it were the Six of um, Wands, yes, she's the victor, victory celebrated person. But the Three of Cups celebration, she is already a celebrated figure. She's going into this in ways like, you know what? I'm good. It's good. Let's just go and do what we need to do. Have fun. Her challenge, though, is the actual four of wands, so it could be either the gymnastics community or just the environment there at the Olympics, um, making sure she can keep her head in the game. Knight of Cups, though, so some news of emotion. Temperance in the recent past, having to kind of making sure she walked into these games with a level head. Um, two of Cups, so a lot of emotions going into it because it started with yeah, hold on, what's the outcome? Nine of Wands. So a little a bit of um, battle weariness. Um, talk to, get your, get your, uh, um, I wonder if her boyfriend went with her, probably, or somebody, a good support system that's going to come and you're going to help and kind of lean on them. Somebody that you see eye to eye with, that's going to definitely help. Whatever temperance, um, that levelness that you brought into the games coming into it, make sure you keep it because what you don't want to do is this environment here, your challenge, um, and it could, it could be just something surrounding the games to throw you off your game. Okay, so just bring her energy, make sure she just, again, has her ally, has the person that can kind of help bring her help her be so her and get her mind into the game because um we don't want that to show up for her so there you have it sister i'll text you and tell you what i got so therefore you don't have to watch the video <laughs> and to the rest of you who actually watch i hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching until the next video i'll see you guys later bye